In order to understand the treatment options available for patients with blocked coronary arteries, we need to look back at the history. In the 1960s, the procedure of coronary artery bypass grafting was developed and perfected, in which veins from the legs or arteries from the arms or chest are used to bypass focal blockages in coronary arteries. In the 1970s, a procedure called balloon angioplasty was developed and introduced in the United States for the treatment of focal blockages in the coronary arteries. In this procedure, a small balloon is passed from either the leg or the arm arteries to the heart, and the balloon is inflated, cracking open the plaque. The problem with this procedure is recoil. Lesions will recoil back, and the balloon angioplasty is successful about 60% of the time. To combat that problem of elastic recoil, coronary artery stents were developed. The first stents were introduced in the 1980s and were approved in the United States in 1994. In 2003, medication-coated stents were introduced in an attempt to reduce the scar tissue that grows into stents, reducing the number of symptoms after coronary stenting. The bare metal stents and the medication-coated stents are metal scaffolds that are left within the coronary artery and these metal segments interfere with long-term vascular health. So they're a suboptimal solution. Now, engineers have designed a totally absorbable organic stent. We are one of two centers in Virginia that has access to the ongoing randomized trial comparing the effectiveness of the bioabsorbable organic scaffold with standard, traditional, medication-coated metal stents. It disappears over time, and we hope this will allow the vessel to resume its normal function. I brought a stent to show you. This is the length of the catheter that allows the stent to pass from the arm or from the leg up to the heart. The stent is mounted on a balloon here that is inflated with a special inflation device. Once the stent balloon is inflated, the stent is expanded and the stent is left within the coronary artery.